I'm finding universal beauty hard to define. It seems a given that the David by Michelangelo is, by all who see it, beautiful, as is the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Is it the art or the setting that defines beauty for those that drink it in? Is it the skill of the artist, the chosen tools, the medium, or some kind of combination? Is the overall experience what makes it universally beautiful? Beauty can be found anywhere, and it differs by those who see and experience it. Myself, I have found beauty in a rusted out, dilapidated, burned building, where some would only see destruction, rot, and decay. For me, connecting with universal beauty is much more of like a feeling. What happened is certain moments in my life started to come in focus as being really beautiful. I think our smile is such a beautiful thing that we can share with the world. It also helps us stay positive, see the beauty in life, and also it'll help people that are maybe going through bad times. You don't know what a difference just a simple smile can make in their lives. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. We've been taught that our entire lives. Believing it means that we spend those lives trying to please that mysterious beholder, whomever they may be. I was fortunate enough to be raised in such a way that I could almost always find something of beauty to behold in others. But somewhere along the way, I lost the ability to do that for myself. I allowed myself to be redefined and reinforced by my beholder for far too many years. I felt I had to rally those who had always stood beside me and then build around me a family of friends who would become my greatest support. This was a chosen family, made up of men and women from all walks of life and backgrounds and in a beautiful menagerie of diversity. And they were all beautiful to me. I allowed that perception to extend beyond my immediate circles and started the exercise of finding beauty in each person I encountered. Someone is irresistible if they exhibit a certain spark in the eyes, wanting to connect with the world outside of themselves. It's a show of kindness and curiosity, of being able to help and wanting to help anyone and wanting to learn about others' situations. And I feel like that beauty exists when someone has the empathy to feel what someone else might feel, animals included. I guess that'd be sympathy. I feel like I can remember most of these beautiful encounters, and it's such a gift. When I reflect back to my experience as a muse, there was fear and trepidation on being asked. The first element was water, literally in a pond. Could I let go of my own ideas of a beautiful physical body and allow myself to be vulnerable? What would these photographs show of my body? That was the main fear, my body. And then I quickly learned that that was not what this was about. It was never about the physical. Universal beauty starts with something that can't be seen. It is felt. And as the heart stirs with love, beauty comes alive. It shines out through the eyes of the ones who have allowed love to enter. It can be seen in a lover's gaze or a stranger's smile. It can be felt in a gentle touch or a wildly passionate kiss. It can be heard in cries of laughter and love songs. Beauty speaks with grace, walks in confidence, dances with ecstasy and comforts in stillness. Yes, you can definitely see universal beauty, but first, it must be felt. What do I think is most beautiful about myself? Up until a few years ago, I would have flat out said nothing. But I've come a long way in a few years, and now I can say that what I like most is my smile. And it's not because I have a cute dimple or perfect teeth, because I don't. No, I like my smile because when I see myself smiling in the mirror, I see how far I've come. I can see that I'm happy, genuinely happy with where I am and who I've become. Because for all those years of forcing a smile in the mirror and seeing the sadness behind it, now all I see is the happiness. My smile is powered by the joy I have for life and for the excitement of the future. And that's what makes it beautiful. Beauty 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 so i think about this 
a lot in terms of how we create beauty in the world. As women, we're taught from a young age, of course, to be beautiful, to both inside and out, from wearing makeup, maintaining our figures, getting our hair done, to making sure that we smile and we're gracious and graceful in our movements and our personal interactions. And there's beauty in that. Even though we're sort of indoctrinated into this way of being beautiful and our responsibility to be this way as women, sort of unwillingly, it is an interesting idea that we can be in our essence, you know, elegant, like an equation can be elegant. Beauty, I think, is in the contrast. Without the aesthetically discordant, we couldn't feel the full joy of a balanced vision. In the absence of the ugly, beauty would have no power. As a creative soul, I have always sought and found beauty everywhere. For me, beauty is a way of life, a spiritual practice even. It bleeds through and saturates all of my senses and creates a conscious desire to leave everything a little better than I found it. Because it is only in the presence of divine beauty that the multi-sensory experience is born, like witnessing a breathtakingly gorgeous sunset, a brilliant song, or a woman who exudes beauty inside and out. The first ideas I had about beauty were from my mother. She was a model and a musician. She was stunning. Her physical beauty was subjective to certain ideals. But what I came to know as her true beauty was from the way she treated people. She was incredibly kind and generous, particularly to those down on their luck. How you treat others is what makes you beautiful. My mother overcame such hardships growing up. Her strength and perseverance was quite amazing. She always said it was because she came from strong German women. There are so many wonderful, loving, and supportive women in my life. Women who lift each other up. Women who help you see what they see in you when you sometimes can't. I think is most beautiful about her is her ability to be herself in any situation. I can't do that. I am my true self at work, oddly enough. You would think it'd be at home or with friends, but it isn't. My work family accepts me as me, no questions asked. And maybe one day, I can be myself just as I am there, everywhere. Universal beauty is where authentic power meets compassion, embodied, radiated, witnessed, and received. Beauty is the recognition of one's unique passion and invaluable individuality, and the knowledge that it is the best and only way to truly serve the world. It's easy to see in another. We can identify it immediately when we're in the presence of it. We see true beauty when someone stands in their truth, confident and empowered by their own curiosity, talents, and strengths. We feel the presence of another's beauty in their joy, they explore their passions joyfully, they aspire to share their hearts openly, stand firm in self-respect, and honor their boundaries with discernment. While in this empowered confidence, a beautiful person also endeavors to share their vulnerability. Confidence in one's beauty is not born from ego-based pride, but entirely the opposite. Someone who is beautiful emanates abundance thereof. They understand that their beauty magnetizes and galvanizes the beauty within others. Universal beauty is not something that can be threatened. It is simply not something subject to competition. Universal beauty requires exactly that, the universality of beauty. Humility and an appreciation of oneness are cornerstones of radiant universal beauty. Beauty is inherent in the universal energy which connects all things, and this exists whether you prefer quantum physics or metaphysics. Infinite manifestations of beauty constitute our whole world. The most amazing was giving birth to my daughter and how beautiful that is and, and that experience and that feeling around all of it. The good, the bad, the ugly, the pain, the unbelievable 
emotional connection that I had to my child the moment I found out she was there and the moment I saw her for the first time is just about the most beautiful thing in life. Even a thought has the potential to be beautiful. Any creative act, a gesture of kindness, an expression of innocence, a considerate word, untapped potential, or the strength of, a hum of the human spirit. Seeking out that energy engages the muscles of multi-sensory memory and opens the path to a deeper, more meaningful life. In the words of Mark Twain, the common eye sees only the outside of things and judges by that, but the seeing eye pierces through and reads the heart and the soul, finding there capacities which the outside didn't indicate or promise, and which the other kind couldn't detect. Living a life of beauty is like that, and in looking with that uncommon eye, beauty is eternal. As I enter into the autumn of my years, my own external beauty might fade, but the beauty I've collected will shine through the cracks. This deep understanding has imbued me with grace and an unwavering adoration for all things beautiful. Something that I feel strongly about, and I talk about it a lot, is being yourself. And I find that that is one of the biggest accomplishments that I have had in my life is, you know, going through things and finding the real me and being able to appreciate my awkward moments, you know, all my flaws and everything that truly makes me who I am and being able to give that to the world. And beauty and that real trust and care, an unspoken bond between women who don't even really know each other, um, don't owe each other anything. Uh, the beauty and reveling in each other's sort of beauty magic, you know, sort of palpable feeling when things are just popping out there. So my experience on the shoot was that of so much love. The entire experience and collaboration with these women, these muses, is, was, and will continue to be beautiful. The experience of allowing yourself to be truly you and comfortable in your own skin with the help of these women who supported, guided, held, propped, cajoled, and loved you as it was your turn in front of the lens was frightening. And then came a feeling of overwhelming power, the power of unleashing the true self, which is strong and beautiful. You no longer held on to the ideals of beauty that came from outside forces, you trusted those around you. Beauty came from within, from you, which is emanating from every one of these photographs and every one of these muses. It is the skill of the artist, the chosen tool, the medium, and the entirety of the overall experience. We are beautiful.